come on in everybody. I think all 6,000 of you can fit in here. Yeah, look at it. I mean, you're hanging from the rafters, but you're here. <laughs> See these hooks? This is where hammocks hung from. They're all throughout the whole lower part of the ship. And, and that's where the men slept. The 16 crew men with 32 smelly feet. <laughs> so, anyway, this is my and Richard's sewing room. And I thought, well, I don't know. Should I, I I'll show it to you, okay? I'll show you around. Um, first of all, I wanted to point out, notice the difference of proportions from the bottom to the top and the way everything is. This is not done to look artistic. <laughs> this is done out of necessity <laughs> because this the shape of the ship is slanting to a peak on the middle of the floor of the deck and down and it's 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 also slanting this way in the lengthwise and everything is every which way so it's nearly impossible to to be able to build anything with hard straight pieces of wood so this is what you end up with. <laughs> and I um, worked, I made this little sewing room out of nothing that we didn't already have. It's all just junk. <laughs> See, like this is a drawer that had no, no place to go. And a frame that, had, and, and all these, most people would throw away, right? And cuts of, of moldings and things, but, I just thought, well, we can use it. Here's here's a wet paint sign that normally would throw away, you know, that we just threw on something that so someone didn't touch it. And, oh, I'm just trying to think. Oh, here's a sign for going to Providence from Yankee, but it was cut off because somebody used part of it for something. So I thought, oh, I don't want to throw this away or, I mean, this is really history. <laughs> so every single thing here, some diamond plate, and then this is here. Oh, it's so dusty. Oh my goodness. Um, and I thought, why not? That's why. And this is a piece of, part of, of the side of a piece of something was shipped. Ooh, look at the dust in here. You know, when you're working with fabric, you need to, you need to dust often. <laughs> and then this is where we keep all of our, not all, but some of our um, threads. And then this is different baskets of different kinds of things. Some of it has got wet, but I can tell that says linen on there. <laughs> Believe it or not. Wool tartan, wool solid stripe and hand woven. Um, what is this one? Um, <laughs> solid in stripes of cotton, woven cotton, um, patterned silk and silk solids and tapestries and brocades and felt and flannel. So it's just a way of getting, keeping organized so I can find things, you know, and then all these little drawers have labels of different kinds of buckles and buttons and threads above. And this box is all leather parts, usually off of kilt, kilts and watches and whatever, anything to do with um, little leather leftover pieces of this and that. <laughs> this is actually a box. You know, I don't know if I have anything in here yet. I don't think I do. It's a box. That's weird. I know it's a box. I, oh, it goes this way. There's nothing in there. Oh my goodness. A space that we can fill. <laughs> That's great. And then, um, um, oh, this is kind of interesting. A channel mammal sent me this little doll, um, cut out doll. Uh, dress. Isn't that precious? She made that. It even has a pocket with a little, I think it's a scripture in here. I can't remember. I haven't read it in a long time. What does it say? Oh God, who does design? Oh, let's read it again. 
um, mercifully to bestow upon us infinite treasures of love in the heart of thy Son, which was wounded for our sins. Grant, we beseech thee that we who pay him the devout homage of our piety may in like manner show unto thee our due of worthy satisfaction through the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, it's a little like a little prayer. <laughs> and and even has a necklace and buttons. And then she sent the same channel memo, whom I don't know. I've never met her. Um, but she sent this picture. She sent a, a box of treasures. And she sent this picture that her sister um, painted. And her sister is the one who told her about Victoria and Richard Mackenzie Childs. So she shared that little painting. I have. To, I want to find a proper frame. Okay, this is another little place. This used to be a workbench. You see how rough and rugged it is. And um, so anyway, down underneath here, they would have had tools and things. But I, I put up this old um, matchstick screen that we had. And this is where I keep more organization in here. And I use this cleat and to keep it. Um, weighted down when it's closed. I have this heavy nut on here. So when it's closed, this helps to keep it closed. <laughs> anyway, this is, um, oh, look at my sign. Okay, what's in here? There's zips, zipper repair, um, plastic, piping, pin, pin, Cushion cording, what? Uh, oh, pin something around. Um, lace tape, ribbon tape, bias tape, and what's the last thing? Oh, uh, twill tape. And then in here, embroidery floss. One one person asked me how I organize my embroidery floss. I'll show you in a second. Fringe and tassels and things like that. Fruits and vegetables. You know, in case you don't have any room in your galley, you can keep your fruits and vegetables in here. And flowers. <laughs> this is my garden. Nice. And um, cording and braids. And here's, here's my, oh, see these are all fruits and vegetables. We'll see the leftover greens from the fruit <laughs> I haven't looked in here in a long time. Let's see what's in here. I don't know what some of these things. Some things might have got in here that don't belong in here. What is this? Oh, these are some little pears. Have you ever seen pears that small? Isn't that pretty? And then here's the embroidery floss. See, these are, um, you know, all these cordings and things and then here for instance there's a this is really organization this is it took so long to get it just right these are yellows see but they go all the way from pale pale almost creamy white to you know rich rich almost orange but still in the yellow family and here's here's periwinkle type blues but see they're very subtle the the differences in them from a pale pale purple tone to a, a, almost a blue a pure blue but then I have other kind kinds of blues you see see these <laughs> and this is really helpful because I can I can find in here like uh what what i can i can go right to what i i need for blues of this type of blue if i if i didn't want to like periwinkle type see look at that look at all those they're all slightly different and then here's another i'm not going to open up anymore could explode these are like turquoises and to green type tones. Oh, here's some 
Oh, now then you get into the oranges, you see. At a certain point, you switch over. You go from this kind of an orange to you get into these oranges. Look at that. I just love <laughs> I love, wait, oh, here's some, the lavenders. You go, you know, now you're out of the periwinkles. But, you know, where do you go from there? And then you, you go into these true um, violet colors. And some peachy, peachy pinks. And then I have other pinks, other kinds of pinks. Oh, look at the whites. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if you can see how beautiful they are. You know, they're gorgeous gloss. Oh, uh, here's another kind of a pink, you see. These are getting more into the sort of raspberry tones. Oh, I could do this all day. Look at those. And oh, what's this one? Oh, this is, oh, these are like different kinds of whites, but they're different kinds of cords and things more. But it has gloss too. Oh, it just goes, here's some browns. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, it goes on. It's deep, deep, deep. I mean, really. Oh, here's one of my favorite. You know, I love chartreuse. Look at that. These are all different tones of these yellowy greens. But then I have more of um, foresty greens too. I, I mean, it's just, it's such, <laughs> it's such a great sense of organization. And I just love knowing that everything has its place and that I can find it in a functional way. Oh, this isn't too exciting. These are just pens, pencils, knitting needles, uh, different, kinds, different kinds of knitting facilities. Uh, facil Facilitators here. Let's see what's in that drawer. Let's see. Oh, these are pins. All kinds of pins. Look at these pins. Look at this. It just goes on and on. These are pins. Now they're, well, they're different ones. Some of them are silk pins. You know, they're all different. Oh, and these, these are um, different kinds of, um, well, these are all, um, I think these are sewing machine needles, yeah. These are all sewing machine needles. So I know where they are. And I bust one. These are pins that are, um, I mean, needles that are for different functions. Big, thick ones, hook, hook-shaped ones. Every kind of large or awkward needle. You see these? And see, all, this is where I can find, you know, things for darning. Oh, look at, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it just gorgeous and I love the fact that some of them still have their packaging you know they're just beautiful look at this just beautiful Howard's yarn large yarn darners they're in there tucked away I only have one hand to show you there's more uh, curved needles and look at these long needles they're beautiful so, whatever you want here, self-threading needles, isn't this bizarre? You can actually thread the needle by pushing the thread through the uh, groove in the top. It's really weird, but. And anyway, that's that department. These are threads that I often use, you know, during the day. And then over here, this is, 
all to do with, um, you know, snaps and hooks and eye, you know, that kind of thing. Hooks, needles, and oh, needles and needles. This is interesting, I think. Needles and needle threaders. Okay, so these are needle threaders. And then look at this. See this thing? Sears Roebuck and Company from Chicago. And see that little hole right there? And then there's this little pointy, see this little tiny pointy thing right here? I don't know if you can see it. Um, you move that to a number. There are numbers all around here. Can you see the numbers? There's a six and a ten, I think, or it might be eight, I don't know. Anyway, there are numbers around here. And you move this to where you want it to be. It's not organized this way. I just stuffed it full of needles. But watch, you can put it somewhere. And whatever type of needle that you put it on. Oh, shucks. The needle, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it. Oh, see? Now pretend these were all in one of these capacities. Exactly the same type of needle. You could shake it and get the needle that you want to come out of the hole. Usually only one comes at a time. I think I shook it about three times. So about three needles came out. Shucks, I just dropped a needle. <gasps> oh, a needle in a haystack for sure. Oh dear. Oh, I'll find it later after you go home. But look, watch. Inside, it's just, I just didn't know what else to do with my needles. So I thought, oh, I'll just put them in this. See, these are all the divisions. Isn't that beautiful? And then look. Who needs that many needles? Nobody. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever bought a needle. <laughs> they just come to me. I <laughs> I don't know why. It's just amazing. I don't know where these things come from. But I have to organize them. Or it's just it's just hodgepodge. This up, but oh here are more needles. And then here are needles that are still in their packaging, kind of, you know. And then but if you need a needle, this is where you're looking at a needle. Here's another little case within a case of needles. Oh gosh. And, and then I labeled it so that I can see it on end. Because it's the best way I could organize this particular drawer. And then these are snaps that are on a tape, you know? And these are eyelets and studs. You know that kind of thing and these are t-pins you know what t-pins are right I didn't want to do it on the side of the box because if I ever used it for something different I couldn't get it off and I didn't put stick on labels it's so much work but these are all t-pins and then oh just <laughs> yellow tops and, oh, these are these um, kind of curtain uh, rod. Oh, these go, these hang curtains. You know. Um, anyway, it just goes. Oh, these are garter, garter, and um, uh, uh, you know, um, clasps for uh, what are those called? Overalls and things like that in here. And what's back here? And it just goes on and on. Oh, more little um, things for uh, putting pins in, I think. What's this one? Yeah, oh, more of these, these things for your overalls. But I always also use them for putting pillow covers on and long pearl pins and um, bar. Barrettes. <laughs> Two, two barrettes. I have a whole bunch of barrettes. I've got to put them all together at some point. Oh, did I show you this? No. This is um, snap. These are more. I should have put those other snaps in here. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. That'll bring all these other things more forward. I don't want to organize while you're here. Ouch. Because it's not fair to you. But. I'm just going to do this now because 
This is all the snap department, all the way, all the way back. These are skirt hooks and, you know, small hooks and eyes. These are all small hooks and eyes in here, all the way down to loose ones. I think there's some loose ones in the bottom. No, they're all pretty much on their paper still. And then these are large wrapped hooks, you know, that these are like, like for a coat. Well, there's some brass ones in here too, but this kind of thing that you have on a big coat or these a little bit smaller, but still very useful for heavy, heavy thing, garments. And the wrapping keeps them from rusting. So for outdoor wear, they're very useful. And these are snaps. These are all loose. And some of them are for holding your straps in, in line. In a dress, maybe you have a summer sundress and you don't want your uh, slip or your underwear to slip out from underneath the edge of the, of the, of the dress, of the sundress. So you, you use these for that. And this is in here for no reason. But here, these are ones that I often do this to them. I cover them. So they, these are covered snaps. Can you see that? They're covered with fabric. So they don't have that metal against you. And then this is just a whole big bag of snaps. Big, great, big snaps. Like this. So, where was that, that thing? What's this? Wait, wait, didn't I have, oh yeah, this. We'll put this in here. Now. Oh, these are all little, these are little hooks and eyes. I knew there were some loose ones. They're ones that are, well, basically loose. And what's in here? Some things aren't marked. Oh, these are these are for curtains. You know. So remember what's in here what's in there oh oh these are um <laughs> more needles but they're in two big I didn't want to throw these cases away aren't they sweet but the cases were too big to fit in the other place look at these little and they're still in one piece she's teaching her daughter how to sew look at this one and see, inside are all different sizes of needles. Some of them, most of them are gone because I, I've used them, but I, I prefer to leave them together now. Now I feel nostalgic. Look at this beautiful leather, or it's not really leather, but it's kind of like a leather. Look at that. The needles were all tucked into these cavities here. And it closed like a book. What's it say on the front? Needles. Needles, not great. And then they're, I mean, they just go on and on. Here's another needle book. And look at them. I mean, even the most mundane English make needles. Wool. Uh, it's just, I think it's just so lovely to, um, you know, to just take care of these little, look at these teeny tiny skinny killer needles. To thread these, you definitely need a threader. Whoa. Look at this little case. Look at them. Look. Look. It's falling apart, but isn't it beautiful? Look at them, how beautiful they are. Aren't they amazing? Little tiny, teeny tiny needles. The smallest needles in the whole world. So that's what's in this bag. When we used to travel a lot, 
you know, we would get bags like this in in the airplane with soap or toothbrushes and all that. So I just reuse them and whatever. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> turn yourselves around, everybody. I hope you can see this. <laughs> 